Hello everyone, this is Eng 302, Lesson 2, Culture Shock. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to extract specific information from a reading text. Point number two, expand your range of vocabulary in the context of personal feelings. Now, let's think of the meaning of the word homesick. I'll give you just five seconds. Think of the meaning of homesick. Here is a question to think about. What kind of things people miss when they are away from home? If you are abroad, do you miss your family, your friends, your house, or your bedroom? Think of this question for a while, and then we we'll read a text about Maria. Here is a text about Maria from Germany. Let's read it, and I want you to answer three questions. When I lived abroad, I missed cycling to places. I didn't see many people on bikes. Everyone used cars all the time, even for short distances. Children were taken to school by their parents, and my father drove to a nearby petrol station to get his newspaper. I thought about getting a bike, but there were no cycle paths in my area, and I, th I felt I'd be a kind of outsider if I cycled to work in the morning. I also missed my family and friends' gatherings, where we laugh and share memorable moments together. Talking of food, I missed German bread, buns, and rolls. Bread tastes a lot better in my country, I can tell you. So after reading the text, I want to read the questions and I'll give you time to answer them. Okay, here are the answers. So question number one, what does Maria miss about her country, Germany? She missed cycling. Number two, my family or her family, friends and friends gatherings. Number three, German bread, buns and rolls. Question number two, the pronoun has referred to father, her father. The last question, the word is outsider. Now, we read together a reading text. But before reading, I want you to think of these questions. Please write the answers down in your notebooks. Question number one, define culture shock. Question number two, list the stages of culture shock. So keep the answers with you. I'll show you the model answer later. Here are five extracts. We we'll read them together, and I want you to match them with the headings. Number one, here travelers reach a good feeling towards the new culture they are in. They feel settled in and are at peace living in this environment and could possibly enjoy it. Number two, travelers here feel more comfortable with their new environment. They start to build good relationships with people and learn how to adapt. Number three, travelers feel excited about this new adventure and are happy and stimulated to learn about more cultures, more new cultures. Four, it's the most difficult phase. Travelers feel like strangers to these places or to these places, people, language and food. This phase is familiar to those who travel for long periods. Number five, a phenomenon that affects people living abroad and are feeling lost and confused with their new environment. Okay, after reading the extracts, I want you to match 
each heading from A to E with the extract 1 to 5. So uh, heading number 1 or A, culture shock is A. Heading B, the, the honeymoon phase number uh, or letter C, the frustration phase. Number three, the adjustment phase. Number four, the acceptance phase. Now, as I said, match the headings from A to E with the extracts shown. I'll give you two minutes. Here are the answers. So culture shock is A, the, f the honeymoon phase B, the frustration phase C, the adjustment phase D, and the last one, the acceptance phase, will go with E. Can you remember the two questions that I'll let you think of in the beginning? These are the answers. So define culture shock. It is a phenomenon that affects people living abroad and are feeling lost and confused with their new environment. List the stages of culture shock. One, honeymoon. Two, frustration. Three, adjustment. Last one, which is four, acceptance. I'll give you three minutes. Read the sentences based on the extract and decide whether these are true or false.
Okay, here are the answers. So number one, culture shock stands for what travelers might feel towards their new living uh, situation abroad. This is true. Number two, travelers feel homesick and frustrated the entire time they are away from home. This is false. Number three, culture shock has two main stages and two sub stages. False, because culture shock has four main stages. Number four, frustration stage is the hardest. Yes, true. Uh, number five, the honeymoon stage is when travelers feel excited and happy for their adventure. So this is true. Here is a sentence completion exercise. So I want you to read the sentences and match them or fill in the gaps with the correct words in the box. You have three minutes and then I'll read them together. Let me show you the answers. I'm reading an interesting book. It's about psychology, my favorite field. Number two, Khalifa is feeling frustrated or confused today. He is overwhelmed with work. Three, I like talking to Fatima. She is very friendly. Number four, when you are surrounded by creative people, you become stimulated or excited to do better. Number five, my family is traveling and my friends are all busy. I'm lonely. Six, Rana is excited for this new game. She's been waiting for a long time to buy it. Number seven, I've been traveling for two months. 
Today, I woke up feeling homesick. The last sentence, which is sentence number eight, he has eaten too much, he feels uncomfortable. Let's classify the, the same words into positive or negative. I'll give you two minutes and then we'll check your answers. So excited is positive, interesting, stimulated, friendly. The words that are negative, frustrated, homesick, lonely, and uncomfortable. Hope the lesson was clear enough to you. Thank you so much.